to find innovative ways to solve the affordable housing crisis. So it came up with the Housing Action Plans Program. Local 12's Christian Hauser is in now to explain what it is and how it will identify the best way to spend money. Christian. Adam and Megan, this project started before COVID, but the pandemic has certainly highlighted the need more than ever. Hamilton County wanted to study how it could better use community development block grants directly on housing. So the county asked jurisdictions in the county who would like to take part in this study program. Silverton, Deer Park, Norwood, Addiston, and Cheviot all raised their hands. Liz Bloom with the Community Building Institute at Xavier says every one of those communities is different. Addiston has infrastructure issues. Cheviot has experienced a real significant uh, increase in uh, commercial properties like REIT ownership commercial big landlords buying lots of multifamily houses. The other cities have similar challenges, but the program also identified some common issues each community is facing, including what to do with obsolete real estate. It's abandoned big boxes, it's closed schools, it's closed churches. How could they turn those sites into productive new development that included housing? and maybe included housing that they don't have right now. Helping homeowners stay in their houses, whether it was due to maintenance issues or rising property taxes due to increasing home values was also another issue. Essentially, the county was asking what can be done to make sure neighborhoods are affordable long term. Bloom says the county has a tremendous opportunity with the federal COVID relief funding. I think if, if lots of county jurisdictions came on board, it could fundamentally change the way um, communities work in Hamilton County. Um, it's hard to point nationally to good models of equitable, balanced development, but in my heart of hearts, I believe we could be that first place. She says for the first time, the county wouldn't just be moving problems around, it would be offering affordable housing all over. Essentially what the county wants to do is create kind of a net that covers all of it so you don't have kind of a piecemealed um, affordable housing situation. And what's next? Well, those five jurisdictions will put together applications to get funding for those problem areas. They'll look to update zoning codes to remove any obstacles to affordable housing. Meanwhile, the county will look to create programs to amplify what those cities and villages are doing. Now, the county will ask for seven more communities to step up and begin looking at their needs and shortfalls. It's not going to happen overnight, but it seems like the county is poised to make real progress in the affordable housing arena. Megan, back to you. Christian, thanks. And in fact, the Hamilton County Administrator said affordable housing wasn't even being discussed on a county level five years ago. Now, as you just heard from Christian, it's front and center. Shows how much the problem has worsened in just a few years.